Welcome to our exploration of Tarzan's New York adventure. Have you ever thought about what would happen if Tarzan left the jungle and went to the city? Well, get ready for a mix of funny, surprising, and sad moments in this old movie from 1942. Keep watching because we've got some interesting facts to share. When did you first see Tarzan in the city? Or maybe you want to hear some cool stories about this movie. Share your favorite memory or personal story about this movie in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more fun stuff about Tarzan's adventure in New York. You won't want to miss it. Tarzan's New York Adventure is a classic addition to the Tarzan series, featuring Johnny Weismeller in the lead role. He really shines as Tarzan, showcasing his incredible athleticism. Despite being an older film, the special effects still hold up pretty well, even though they might look a bit old-fashioned compared to today's CGI. The story follows Tarzan and Jane as they travel from the jungle to New York City to rescue their son boy, who's been taken by a bad circus owner named Buck Rand. The film is full of exciting action scenes, adventures, and encounters with different characters along the way. Although the movie changes some things from the original Edgar Rice Burroughs story, it's still a fun watch with its mix of thrilling adventures and dramatic moments. The cast does a great job, especially Maureen O'Sullivan as Jane Parker and Johnny Sheffield as Boy. One of the best parts of the film is Cheetah, the chimpanzee, whose funny antics provide some comic relief. The sets, cinematography, and overall look of the movie are also well done, capturing both the lush jungle and the busy streets of New York. Directed by Richard Thorpe, Tarzan's New York Adventure shows his talent for making adventure films, even though he's better known for other types of movies. The film is part of the larger series of Tarzan films, with different actors playing the lead role over the years. Overall, Tarzan's New York Adventure is a fun movie that combines action, adventure, and drama into an entertaining story that keeps viewers engaged throughout. In one memorable scene from the movie, Tarzan jumps into the river, a shot previously seen in King Kong and later shown in Chuck Jones's Roadrunner cartoons. This moment is special because it's part of cinematic history. Also, Tarzan's New York Adventure is the last time we see Maureen O'Sullivan playing Jane in the Wisemuller Tarzan series. It's a big moment because it wraps up her role as Jane in several films. Johnny Weismuller, well known for playing Tarzan, brings his unique energy and athleticism to the screen once more in this movie. All these things make the film a valuable addition to the Tarzan story. In one scene, he leaps off the Brooklyn Bridge, employing a dummy that was carefully maneuvered down cables from a tower into a water tank in the studio. This daring stunt captivated audiences, showcasing the adventurous spirit of the film. Interestingly, Tarzan's New York Adventure served as a significant source of inspiration for the creation of the iconic character Crocodile Dundee in the later film released in 1986. Moreover, this movie made history as the first film to be screened free of charge to servicemen stationed overseas. A 16mm copy of the film was sent to Iceland, where it was shown on May 10, 1942, offering a slice of entertainment to those serving abroad. Set just before the two-minute mark, the film features earlier appearances of Tarzan from the five preceding movies in this series. Johnny Sheffield takes on the role of Tarzan's adopted son, making him the sole actor to portray the character in more than one theatrical motion picture. Interestingly, this particular film stands out as the only Wisemiller Tarzan installment where adult Indian elephants are shown without false African ears. These unique aspects contribute to the film's distinctiveness within the Tarzan series. In an important scene at a lively nightclub, a song from Spider-Man 3 is performed. This same song is sung by Mary Jane Watson in the film, creating a connection between two different movie worlds. Paul Kelly, known for his role in the movie, becomes a part of a different story. In an episode of the popular TV series History's Mysteries, Kelly's picture from the Roaring Twenties is used to represent the infamous New York gangster-filled slum. His portrayal adds depth to the depiction of notorious racketeer Paolo Antonio Vacherly, showing a connection between entertainment and historical records. As for Maureen O'Sullivan, her impact goes beyond the screen. After her passing, she was laid to rest in Most Holy Redeemer Cemetery in Niskun in Shenatati County, New York. This peaceful location stands as proof of her lasting influence and contributions to the world of cinema. These interesting details provide glimpses into the lives of those involved in the film, connecting threads of entertainment, history, and personal stories. Recycling sets from the 1937 film A Day at the Races, Tarzan's New York Adventure features circus scenes with a familiar backdrop. Johnny Sheffield, known for his role as boy in the Tarzan films, outgrew the part by 1947, leading to the end of his tenure in the series. 
Later, he embarked on a new journey as Bamba for Monogram, standing almost six feet tall. Meanwhile, Cheetah, the chimpanzee, saw an increase in screen time over the series entries. In this film, her performance shines with longer and more frequent appearances, marking her best showing yet. In one memorable scene, Charles Bickford attempts to flee from a herd of angry circus elephants using a 1937 Cadillac Series 60 convertible coupe. The vehicle, nearly destroyed during filming, adds intensity to the sequence. Like other Tarzan films, this one includes recycled footage, such as shots of an escarpment, a plane sequence, and animal scenes borrowed from Tarzan Finds a Son. The iconic laugh of Cheetah, the chimpanzee, is voiced by former our gang member Mickey Daniels, a recording reused in numerous films for various animal characters. Such elements contribute to the film's legacy. In an exciting scene like those in old movies such as Safety Last, in King Kong, he climbs up a tall building in Manhattan and runs across its roofs to get away. His bold actions remind us of the brave characters from early films. People love Cheetah because he acts without holding back, just like famous funny people like Curly Howard and Harpo Marx, Jerry Lewis, and Jim Carrey. He makes us laugh and feel happy when we watch him on screen because of his playful energy. The airplane, with the British letters G-A-E-C-T on it, has its own story. It's the same plane that crashed in a previous part of the story. Because it doesn't have a door for cargo, it's hard to carry lion cages in it. But despite these problems, the adventure keeps going, making the story even more interesting. In the film, Johnny Weissmuller's towering height of 6'4", and broad shoulders are often overshadowed by jungle sets and elephants. However, the New York scenes bring his physical presence to the forefront, emphasizing his stature as he noticeably towers over other actors, including the robust Charles Bickford. This contrast in size adds a dynamic element to the narrative, shifting from the vast jungle to the urban jungle of New York. The change in setting not only highlights Weismuller's physicality, but also underscores the challenges Tarzan faces in adapting to the concrete jungle. The urban environment serves as a backdrop for the unfolding adventure, creating a visual spectacle as Weismuller navigates the cityscape. His imposing figure against the city's backdrop showcases the fish-out-of-water scenario, where the wild encounters the urban, offering a unique perspective rarely seen in the typical Tarzan storyline. The choice of setting and the deliberate contrast in scale contribute to the film's narrative depth, adding layers to Tarzan's character and highlighting the adaptability of the iconic jungle hero in the unfamiliar terrain of New York. In conclusion, the film skillfully uses Johnny Weismuller's physical attributes to enhance the storytelling, making the audience appreciate Tarzan's New York adventure beyond its jungle roots. During the making of the 1942 film, there was a sad event. A fire happened while they were filming and it destroyed many important things like props and sets. This made the people making the movie very sad and caused big problems. The movie tells the story of a character who goes from the jungle to New York City. There he faces many challenges and funny situations. He meets new people and has adventures in the big city. The movie talks about how different life in the jungle is from life in the city. People liked this idea and the movie became well known even though there was a fire while making it. It's a classic adventure movie from that time, despite the sad event that happened during filming. In an unexpected twist, a touching tidbit about the film emerges during the filming of the climactic scene where the hero bids farewell to his loved ones. An emotional atmosphere enveloped the set as the actors couldn't help but shed genuine tears. The realization that this marked the final installment in the series brought a profound sense of loss to everyone involved. The movie delves into the hero's journey as he navigates the busy streets of New York City. It explores the clash between city life and the wild jungle, showing the challenges he faces in this new environment. As the story unfolds, viewers witness his struggle to adapt to the city, where survival is different from his native habitat. Through encounters with crowds, tall buildings, and modern technology, he confronts the complexities of human society while staying true to his instincts and sense of justice. Amidst the chaos, his love for his family remains a guiding light, keeping him grounded. His determination to protect them drives him to overcome obstacles, showing his resilience. Throughout the movie, his encounters with others deepen his understanding of people, leading to a realization about the true meaning of family. In the end, as he bids farewell to the city that transformed him, viewers are reminded of the power of love and loyalty.